One of my concerns today comes from the constant daily hacking of my computers. It's amazing that when you share your life story of how you've been hit by cybercrime and identity theft and fraud that the players in a community at the le lesser ends of the community decide to hack your technology. Like, oh, that's been happening to you? Well, I'll just continue that on you too because I'm going to take advantage of your life and I'm going to commit fraud on your life and I'm going to ruin your life because that's what I long to do as a maintenance man in a community. That's what I want to do as an employee of a retail store. The reality is that our government is failing us. That if they have secret service working in Homeland Security, they need to go after that. If they have people who are advocating for consumer rights, then they need to go after that. But what I'm talking about today is that free access to technology and affordable internet is important policy. But at the same time, the government has to go after employees that abuse our rights to use that. In America, we have rights to communicate to companies about our experiences with their employees, their products, and their services. What I find offensive is trying to go to a Dollar Tree website and find that I cannot find any way to contact them directly without being put in a log logistics hell of Q&A that are not my questions and not my comments. The same goes true for their online profile in Facebook. The other day I was able to comment on things as a consumer of that store, today I am not. Is that the fault of Dollar Tree and their employees locally commenting on something that is not their right? Or is that the fault of Facebook trying to sanction someone's right to communicate consumer rights and feedback? In America we have rights to the purchases that we make, the returns that we have to take back to a company and the right to communicate about badly behaving employees in their workplaces. A badly behaving employee in any workspace, in any workplace, can cost a company millions of dollars. Your trainees have failed to recognize that when they are on the job and off the job, if they're interacting with people who are consumers in their store, they're always a representative of your company. And that is something that people often abhor, but is the actual facts of life. That if the only way in the world that they ever met someone who's a consumer is through your store, then that is what they are to them. The only time that changes is if they shift to a different workplace. So factually, when the person is interacting with someone on or off the job or on the break, they are still representing your company. Now that may, might shake some corporate morals, but that is the truth in the eyes of the consumer. That the consumer has right to protect himself, the consumer has rights to his property and paperwork and his personhood, and the consumer has rights to his privacy. In America we have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The pursuit of happiness in America in particular, and in Japan, and in other places like Hong Kong around the world, is the ability to go shopping. Shopping is supposed to be an experience that is done without discrimination. Shopping is supposed to be a safe opportunity for people to use their discretionary dollars to apply them to the vendors of America to support America Inc. Manufacturers in America, packaging companies in America, product manufacturing in America is what feeds America. 